To access BQ Labs classes and study material, you need either a simple laptop or a smartphone. You don't need any other sophisticated gadgets. With these two tools, you do two things. Access online interactive classes using applications like GoToMeeting, Zoom or Webex. And number two, access edge.dqlabs.in. You can use your existing gadgets very well. However, in case you are planning to buy a new one, we have a few advices for you. Investing in digital tools are a necessity in today's digital world. Designers, architects, fashion designers are using these tools extensively for design and communication. As you embark on the journey of becoming a design superhero, and if you are planning to invest in digital tools, you must be thinking about which one to buy, a laptop, a graphic tablet or a combination like a yoga laptop. A lot of options are available in the market and it gets super confusing. Let's have a brief look and see what minimum specifications we need to have in the digital tools you invest such that the tools are efficient and effective for at least five years from now. I would like to inform you that I am using a laptop that I have brought in 2016 and it still works like a charm and does my job superbly. The inputs that I am sharing now is a result of my 20 plus years of personal experience as an industrial designer and an architect and is a summary of my experiences of sourcing, buying and using many gadgets for the professional use for my design team. You need to have clarity in the design discipline or direction you are taking up. It can be divided broadly as a discipline where you are using 3D softwares or using 2D softwares. If you are going for the discipline of architecture, product or industrial, automotive, game design or fashion design, especially considering the rise of 3D printing technology in fashion designing, requires to use of heavy 3D software, then ensure the following minimum specifications are available as default. Of course, these are the minimum specifications. If you are able to get higher, the better always. Number one, the clock speed of at least 2 GHz with dual or multi-core processor, an external graphic card of at least 2 GB. Number 3. DDR4 8 GB RAM and additional memory expansion slots to extend the memory. Consider at least 2 additional slots that can support 8 or 16 GB RAM individually. Number 4. You would require a 3 button mouse pointing device. And please note your laptop need not have a touch screen. By opting for a touch screen the cost would increase tremendously and for this purpose you do not require a touch screen at all. If you are going for graphic design, 2D animation, UX UI, design research you would be using extensive 2D based software. For this purpose, you can buy an iPad or iPad Pro. Invest in an Apple Pencil and a keyboard. As this gives you a greater flexibility of drawing on the screen directly, it will ease out the design workflow. You can buy any brand laptop that supports this configuration. You can reach out to our highly experienced and authorized partners for in detail special assistance available only for DQ Lab students and alumni. They have some special deals for you as well. If you need the partner details, kindly send a WhatsApp to your single point of contact. In case you are looking for a tablet, then I recommend two options based on the budget and type. There are two types of tablets. One is a pen tablet which is cost effective and portable but does a great job. 
A pen tablet is a simple, portable and effective external plug and play input device. Doesn't require an additional power supply. The device will have an opaque surface on which you draw using a digital pen. The resultant drawn work can be seen in your laptop or desktop screen. It takes a bit of practice to get the hand-eye coordination correct while using a pen tablet but majority of designers on the move use it. Go for one by Wacom A5 size. The second is a pen display. This is at least nine times more expensive than the pen tablet. The name suggests has a pen and a display screen on which one can draw. It is a bit more complex to install and requires a power source to work with. However, it has its own advantages as the device itself has a display screen onto which you can directly draw. It is intuitive and easy to draw from the moment you install it. Go for a Wacom Cintiq 13 inch size. I have one of these and I am using it for more than 13 years and it works like a charm. It never broke down and never let me down. We have direct access to the Wacom to place orders and our DQLab students and alumni can buy directly from them. You can be sure that you get the original and the latest device without any middleman. A4 sheets and papers. For your design sketching classes, we recommend you to use A4 sheets. These are simple sheets used in a Xerox machine for printing purposes. You will be using hundreds of them for your daily practice. These are cheaper than the drawing or sketching sheets you get in the store and hence you are not afraid to make a mistake when doing the exercises. It is also very easy to erase the drawing you made by pencil on an A4 sheet if need be. So you can draw and practice more rigorously than thinking about wasting an expensive piece of paper. Buy A4 500 sheets 75 GSM or one ream and keep in stock. Drawing pencils. Please buy a grade of pencils and go for the Stedler brand. You would be using HHBB till the grades of 8B. Also buy a blending stump. This is used for spreading out the graphite on the sheet for shading purpose. Color pencils. Buy the 48 shade Stedler Luna color pencils. These are very soft and are water soluble and a great investment. Every designer has one set and you should too. There is a special list of tools that is required for round 2 preparation for design and fashion uh, students. That list can be accessed on DQH. Please scroll down to material handling and here you can see the list of materials and tools that are required. Please source these tools and materials for your round 2 preparation. Sketchbook and markers. Buy a A5 size sketchbook. A set of micro pens of different sizes, they usually come as a set. Also a few different color highlighters. Using these you can document all your ideas in a very vivid manner in your sketchbook. Should you buy alcohol markers? From exam point of view, they are not required. In fact, they are not allowed in the design entrance exams as a special type of paper is required for using them. On normal paper, when you use alcohol markers, the color bleeds. Having said that, 
If you have mastered basic design sketching skills, then at a later date you can buy them. They are an expensive investment and are majorly required for automotive design or product design renderings. For the benefit and ease of buying for DQ Lab students, we have made all these tools available at our studios for buying. Please contact your single point of contact and they will help you out to buy these tools.